Hello everyone, welcome to my Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you access modifiers. Now, in the previous tutorial, we saw a concept called as package. Now, what is a package? A package is basically used to group related classes together. Okay. So at a high level, we can say that our Java application is a collection of packages, right? So as you can see, uh, this is my Java application and there are multiple packages inside. And you can also create new packages by right clicking on the project, say new package. Okay, and give some name to it, right? So a Java application is a collection of packages and a package in turn is a collection of classes, right? So that's it. Now let's begin with the access modifiers. Now, what is an access modifier? An access modifier is used to control the visibility of different components of our program. Now, there are two levels of access modifiers. One is at the class level and the other one is at the member level. Now I'll just start off with the class level access modifiers. Okay. Now at the class level, we have only one access modifier, which is called public, right? Now what this means is when I declare any class as public, it means that this class will be visible in the entire Java application. That is, it will be visible in the same class as well as in, uh, not in the same class. It will be visible in the same package as well as in other packages of the same Java application, right? So remember one thing, when we declare any class as public, that class will be visible in the same package as well as in the other packages of the same Java application. So it will be visible in the entire Java application. Now, when I say visible, what does it mean? It means that I can create an object of that class, right? So if I can create an object of the class properly, that means that class is visible. Okay. So that's it. Now, if I don't declare anything uh, or if I don't specify any access modifier for a class, which means it means that uh, uh, it is a default access modifier and the default means that this class will be visible only in the same package or in the current package, right? So this class A1 uh, will be visible only in the same package and not in the other packages, right? So yeah, that's it. Now I'll just start off with the variable level or member level. Uh, access modifiers. Okay. Now let's start. If I declare uh, this variable as public, okay, then this variable a will be accessible uh, by this object anywhere in the Java application. So wherever I create this object a1, I can directly access this variable a. For example, over here, if I create an object uh, of uh, a1, then I can directly uh, access this variable a by its name, right? So this is allowed. And if I don't specify this, then the default is the package. Okay. So default is package visibility. That means this variable a will be visible only in the same package or in the current package. And since uh, these both these classes are in the same package, uh, a is visible over here, right? So this is default um, access modifier. Again, default means we don't have to write default keyword over here. It's just we, you don't when you don't specify anything, it becomes a default right now. There is uh, one more uh, access modifier over here, which is called private. Now, when I say private, uh, whatever I declare as private, it means that that particular member will be visible only in the same pack, same class and not even in the same package. Okay. So when I declare anything as private, it will be visible only in the same class, right? So, and as a result, since this A is private, I am not able to access this A over here, right? So that is done. Now, similar things are applicable for methods as well, right? So whatever I said for these variables, the same thing is applicable for methods. For example, if I declare this method as private, then I won't be able to call this method over here, right? So it won't find M1. And again, if I declare it as public, it will find it. And also if I don't specify anything, it will find it because the default visibility is the package, right? So that's it. And yes, there is one more important access modifier, which is called protected. And for that, I'll have to create another class over here. P2 extends a1 okay so what i've done is uh, you know uh, the syntax this is uh, this means i'm inheriting 
from another class, right? So I have created a class A2, which extends class A1. That is, it inherits from class A1. Now, if I declare any variable over here as protected, then it means that this variable A will be visible in the same package, right? And also in its child class, okay? So this variable can be accessed in the same package and also in its child class, right? So that is the meaning of protected. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.